Good morning. Welcome to the annual SIUE Chancellor's Report to the University. We are honored to have a number of distinguished guests with us today, and I would like to acknowledge them. First, and will you please rise, the wife of our Chancellor, Sue Vandegrift. The president of the SIU system, Glenn Pichard. Paula Keith, his assistant. We have the chair of our capital campaign, Defining Excellence, Byron, Defining Excellence, Byron Farrell. We also have members of the Alumni Board, the Foundation Board, and the Leadership Council Executive Committee. Would you all please rise to be acknowledged? We are very appreciative of your attendance here today. To our special guests and to all of you in the audience, I extend the invitation to join us for the reception that immediately follows the presentation. It is now my honor and pleasure to introduce the Chancellor of Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, Dr. Vaughn Vandegrift. Dr. Vandegrift was appointed the university's seventh chancellor on July 1, 2004. As he joined us, he set out to guide the university toward fulfillment of its vision to be recognized nationally as a premier metropolitan university for the excellence of its programs and the development of professional and community leaders. One year later, in his report to the university in 2005, Chancellor Vandegrift announced 10 steps toward achieving the vision by 2015. Chancellor Vandegrift stated, and I quote, national recognition for what we do best is our vision. How we achieve it is our responsibility. We'll need the help and input of everyone in charting our course. It is our challenge to plan for and accomplish our future in ways that best serve the citizens of Southwest Illinois and our students. In the seven years he has led the university, our movement toward the achievement of that vision has been notable. I would love to enumerate the many accomplishments of SIUE under Chancellor Vandegrift, but I suspect that will become apparent from his presentation today, titled The Journey to National Recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chancellor Vandegrift to the podium. Thank you, Provost. I know that um, he has already been recognized, but I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the president of our system, Glenn Pichard, for not only doing an outstanding job representing the system of Southern Illinois University, but also Southern Illinois University Edwardsville and its chancellor. President Pichard, would you please stand and be recognized again? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. There's a well-known saying, it's not the destination, it's the journey. We embarked on our journey for national recognition almost a decade ago as new mission, vision, values and strategic goal statements were developed. Our mission statement identifies SIUE, quote, as a public comprehensive university dedicated to the communication expansion and integration of knowledge through excellent undergraduate education as its first priority and complementary excellent graduate and professional academic programs. The Illinois Board of Higher Education focus statement further specifies that SIUE address, quote, the social, economic, and healthcare needs of our region, end quote. While our mission and focus statements describe our responsibilities as an institution, they alone do not define us. The five values of SIUE, wisdom, openness, integrity, citizenship, and excellence, emphasize the importance that we place on high quality student learning, continuous improvement and innovation, outstanding scholarship and public service, and standards consistent with the premier status to which we aspire. Similarly, 
Our seven strategic goals, engage students and capable graduates, innovative high quality programs, committed faculty and staff, harmonious campus climate, active community engagement, sound physical and financial assets, and excellent reputation. Emphasize that we participate and excel in actions that command national recognition. Who we are as a university is emphasized in one recurrent theme, excellence. Excellence is one of our five stated values. Excellence is a responsibility designated in our mission statement. Excellence is required of us as one of our strategic goals. And excellence is explicitly stated as an expectation in the realization of our vision, which reads, quote, Southern Illinois University Edwardsville as a premier metropolitan university will be nationally recognized for the excellence of its programs and development of professional and community leaders. In my first speech to the university in October 2004, I challenged us to make material progress toward achieving our vision by 2010 and to fully achieve national recognition for excellence by 2015. I spoke then of creating an intentional future for SIUE by defining our journey as a university as opposed to drifting on a course controlled solely by external events. I said at the conclusion of that speech, I invite all in our university community to join us on this noble and exciting journey. A university that has a bold vision for national recognition must also be a university that believes it can attain such recognition. I've often said that our journey to national recognition would be realized not by seeking recognition for its own sake, but by doing the right things and doing them well. And doing the right things well has both enabled national recognition and catalyzed our advancement as a university. We see the results of our efforts and the pride we take in the accomplishments of our faculty and staff, and that inspires us to greater achievement. We see it in the value our Metro East community places on our work and our contributions to the quality of life in this region. We see it in the expansion of our physical facilities, and we see it in the accomplishments of our students. We now have a student population better prepared to complete college-level work upon arrival at the university. The Chicago Tribune recently listed SIUE as having the fourth highest freshman ACT average among all public universities in Illinois, behind only the U of I Urbana-Champaign, Illinois State University, and U of I Chicago. Our fall freshman class, with an average ACT of 22.4, is the largest we have ever enrolled, and they are part of the largest student enrollment ever at SIUE at 14,235. Significantly, we have been able to accomplish both growth and enrollment of academically well-prepared students while maintaining our commitment to diversity. This fall, 18% of our students are from underrepresented groups with all-time highs in African-American and Latino enrollments. As we have attracted more academically well-prepared students, we have seen more students designating SIUE as their first choice institution. The most recent data on our freshman class indicates over 70% selected SIUE as a first choice university, while some 93% ranked us as first or second choice. Capable students who have made SIUE their first choice are far less likely to transfer to other institutions, and that has had a positive effect on our graduation rates. I am pleased to report that our six-year graduation rate for students enrolling in 2004 and finishing in 2010 increased by 5% to 
to 51.4% compared to 46.4% for students who had entered in 2003 and completed by 2009. Clearly, when it comes to recruiting and retaining students, the results indicate that we are doing the right things and doing them well. Now I'd like us all to hear from some students themselves about what we're doing that's causing them to choose SIUE. I made my decision to come to SIUE because I saw that, we were, that the school put education first. Hello, my name is Morris Pearson. Uh, I'm a second year pharmacy student. My hometown is Glenwood, Illinois, which is the south suburb of Chicago. At SIUE, I would say one of the best parts was the faculty. They really wanted the students to succeed, I felt like, uh, more so even than high school. Uh, if you went and you tried to talk to the professors, there was no reason that you couldn't have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. My name is Ryan Bielman, and I am from Waterloo, Illinois, and I'm a second-year dental student at the SIU School of Dental Medicine. I chose SIUE for several reasons. There are so many reasons. Um, I think what really did it, though, one was, was when I visited. I came on campus and just the, the good feeling, the good environment that I, I felt from you know being here on campus. I knew that this is where I wanted to be. Um, and also through researching um, the people that taught here, the professors that taught um, and their achievements, I was really impressed. As soon as I got here, I was like, I know, I know this is home, you know, this is home away from home. <laughs> Hi, my name is Raquel Pardo. Most of my friends call me Rocky. Um, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm a junior here at SIUE, and I'm majoring in psychology and studio art. Even in the short time that I've been here at SIUE, I've seen a lot of new changes, such as the new science building going up. Being a science major, it's really important to have all that new technology. I'm Chelsea Ankovich. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a biology major. I chose SIUE because one of the biggest things is the nursing program. You know, that, that really interested me. I was undecided before I came, but the nursing program here, I'd heard a lot of good things about it. So that was a big thing for me, was choosing the nursing program. Uh, hi, my name is Ryan Peters. Uh, I'm from Decatur, Illinois, and I'm a senior in the nursing program here. I um, received an internship at, uh, in Seattle with Boeing, working on their new Dreamliner airplane, which is a revolutionary airplane, and it's extremely excited exciting to have that opportunity to work with it. For me to get it over all these people who go to the extremely prestigious schools shows that SIUE has this respect from employers that, that is necessary when you do want to go out in the real world. I'm Kim Lipke from Peoria, Illinois, and I'm a senior in mechanical engineering here at SIUE. I chose SIUE because I absolutely love the campus. It was really pristine and whenever I was walking around the campus I just felt really peaceful and calm and I was able to collect my thoughts. Well, I'm Christopher Sabrina. I'm a sophomore business major and I'm from O'Fallon, Illinois. I like how we're close to St. Louis and we're not too far away from uh, urban city. If I could tell a prospective student one thing about SIUE, I would say that there are so many things to do on campus that you really don't even have to leave. You can study here and you can eat here and you can hang out here and uh, you can live on campus and that's really great. My name is Emily Skeels. I'm from a suburb in Chicago called LaGrange, and I'm a junior speech communication major minoring in mass communication. Transferring here was probably the best decision I made in at least the last 10 years, maybe my entire life. It's just, it's been a much more of a field that I can enjoy and feel comfortable. The learning envir environment is better for me to actually be able to be successful. And then there's enough social life and athletics. And then, like I said, again, the location being close to a city and close to home. All at the same time, it's really just been a great experience. Uh, my name is Warren Riley. I'm from Chicago. I'm a junior here at SIUE, and I transferred here my sophomore year. If you want to graduate from a really, really, really good school, this is definitely the school to go to. It's a good way to finish. <clears throat> Almost five years ago, we welcome 2007 fully prepared for the 50th anniversary celebration of the E. We celebrated our transition from a branch campus to a university proud to be part of the SIU system. And we honored the founders and builders of our university by recommitting to our vision to be nationally recognized. 
We sharpened our focus on excellence to include an emphasis on providing students the support required to come to classes prepared to learn. Learning may not be possible if, for example, a student has an unmet need for tutoring, advising, or counseling services. We recognize that we could not control all of what happens in the lives of our students, but we should control what we can. We plan for a new Student Success Center, subsequently opened in fall 2009, to combine the student academic support services of academic advising, student opportunities for academic results, the honors program, and instructional services with the student personal support services of disability support services, career development center, counseling and health services, international student services, and the Kimmel Leadership Center to create a collaborative, responsive, and creative resource area for students to meet their learning and personal needs. In 2008, following the recommendation of a task force, we announced that academic advising would become a university-wide program with professional advisors assigned to all schools and the College of Arts and Sciences. All SIUE students now have their progress tracked by advisors whose sole responsibilities are to work with students to enable graduation, thereby allowing faculty more time to serve as mentors. To enhance faculty opportunities for mentoring, in 2009, we modified the Undergraduate Research Academy to create the Undergraduate Research and Creative Activities Program, so-called IRCA. The IRCA program offers nearly 200 scholarly experiences each year for students working with faculty in research and creative activities across the university. We also spent considerable time examining the teacher-scholar model for SIUE faculty to enable a clearer representation of who we are as a university and to define the role we play in higher education. This fall, we further expanded the concept of service to students through our Connections Now project. That is part of our academic quality improvement program associated with our institutional accreditation by the Higher Learning Commission. Through Connections Now, staff members will participate in service-oriented training to better enable an appropriate learning environment for our students and, indeed, improve the working environment for ourselves. Our fourth residence facility, Evergreen Hall, completed in 2007, increased our on campus housing capacity to about 3,500 students, solidifying our classification by the Carnegie Commission on the Advancement of Teaching as a primarily residential university. We both accommodated those on our housing waiting list to fill Evergreen Hall and expanded the size of our freshman class by about 300 students. During the past several years, we have been able to manage our overall enrollment growth by 1 to 2 percent per year through larger freshman classes and increases in well-prepared transfer students, including those from dual admission programs now in place with Southwestern Illinois College and Lewis and Clark Community College. Our four consecutive years of record enrollments have enabled us to maintain a continuously strong financial position. Despite the recent difficult economic times, we made a commitment to our university community by not furloughing or laying off employees. And in fact, we were able to provide our committed faculty and staff with salary increases. We added faculty positions where growth demanded it maintaining our student to faculty ratio at 17 to 1. In fact, during the period from 2001 to 2011, that 10 years, we increased our student credit hour production by 25% and the size of our faculty by 25% while increasing staff positions by only 13%. This increase in efficiency 
helped enable us to provide those salary increases, bringing salaries more in line with peer institutions and improving morale. We also significantly increased the stipends of our graduate students, placing us competitively among other master's granting institutions in the state. And we have not forgotten our commitment to graduate programs in other ways. Through our strategic advancement of graduate education SAGE initiative, we were able to identify new graduate programs to serve the needs of the region, including the new Doctor of Nursing Practice and Doctor of Education in School Administration programs that began this fall. We have also grown in recognition through the accomplishments of our faculty and staff. This year at $34 million, SIUE is ranked sixth among all 553 public and private master's comprehensive universities in the nation for research expenditures and our commitment to public service. A significant portion of these expenditures is for work we do for our region at the East St. Louis Higher Education Center. It is appropriate that we be recognized for the work we do at the center from early Head Start to the charter school. This represents the highest form of regional service. And we add to this service through the work we do for those in need at our School of Dental Medicine Clinic, averaging over 32,000 patient visits for each year, and also the work in our Kimmel Center. In FY11, nearly 40% of the SIUE tenured and tenure track faculty applied for grants. More than $6 million was awarded for 115 research grants from agencies including the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, the National Endowment for the Humanities, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And in scholarly endeavors, our faculty and professional staff produced nearly 1,100 peer-reviewed books, papers, professional presentations, and performances in just the last year. Our journey for national recognition has included a re-examination of our athletics program. In 2000, a task force recommended that we target several of our sports for enhancement as we sought to be more competitive in NCAA Division II. The task force further recommended that we re-examine our commitment to athletics in five years. This re-examination was accomplished by a second task force that began its work in 2005 and issued its report to the campus in 2006. This task force received input from constituency groups and the broader community and considered options including remaining at NCAA Division II, blending Divisions I and II, or moving to Division I. During this process, it became apparent that while our students, staff, faculty, and alumni were competing nationally at the highest levels, only our athletics program was not. A university seeking national recognition for excellence must allow all of its programs to compete at the highest levels. Based on this conviction and following my recommendation, the Board of Trustees approved our NCAA reclassification efforts in 2007. Subsequently, we became a member of the Ohio Valley Conference and an affiliate member of the Missouri Valley Conference in men's soccer and the Southern Conference in wrestling. And while we have been engaged for several years in the Division I certification process, our student athletes have earned cumulative grade point averages of 3.0 or higher among all sports for 10 consecutive semesters, five years. And our staff and coaches have fielded teams who have represented us well. Last spring, I commissioned a group of 43 faculty, students, staff, and administrators to prepare the self-study, now posted online, 
on the university's homepage for your reading. The upcoming certification visit this October 11th to 13th will be very important to our future as NCAA officials examine the results of our self-study confirming our commitment to both academic and athletic excellence. The support we receive from the campus and the community has been invaluable to this endeavor, and we expect to be certified as an NCAA Division I institution on July 1st, 2012. National recognition cannot be achieved without a well-established identity or brand. The public can only recognize you for what you are if they know who you are. In 2004, I pledged to position us appropriately in the marketplace of ideas by developing, quote, a carefully fashioned campaign to communicate who we are, end quote. In the fall of 2005, we initiated the e-brand, consisting of the letters SIU, followed by a bold, edgy, vibrant, and energetic red E. This contemporary brand ties well to our quest for and commitment to excellence. We are now in the seventh year of our brand, and it has successfully been established as representing SIUE and expressing who we are. We expanded our brand in 2007 by establishing a new Cougar logo, time to the initiation of our NCAA Division I certification process. And last year, we introduced Eddie the Cougar mascot and a new SIUE fight song composed by our own music faculty, which will be played on campus as we develop new NCAA Division I traditions at our universities. Listen carefully at noon today on campus. The success of the SIUE brand is now apparent, and it is not only popular in our own bookstore, but it is found widely in retail establishments throughout the region on racks next to articles identifying other major universities. Our recent brand perception audit confirms that business and opinion leaders are increasingly more familiar with SIUE. Civic Progress, the most prominent business development group in St. Louis, and the Executive Committee of the Regional Chamber and Growth Association of St. Louis added me as an ex officio member on their boards to represent you on matters that directly reflect on the growth and development of our region. And SIUE has won the Top 50 Award from the St. Louis RCGA for the last four years in recognition of our contributions to the region. Our alumni are also enhancing our recognition for their accomplishments as professional and community leaders nationally. Take, for instance, Paige St. John, who received a BS in mass communications in 1986 and recently won the Pulitzer Prize for investigative reporting. Joyce Slocum, a 1978 sociology major who is interim president and CEO of National Public Radio. Bill Plaschke, a 1980 graduate with a BS in Mass Communications, who is a member of ESPN's Around the Horn program. Or Fernando Aguirre, a BS in Business Administration and Marketing graduate of 1980, who is president and CEO of Chiquita Brands International. These remarkable alumni work alongside many other productive SIUE graduates, all of whom see the value of their degree increasing every year as SIUE's national reputation for excellence grows. These alumni feel strongly about their connection to SIUE and they are willing to serve as our ambassadors. Let's take a look. SIUE defines excellence in higher education because it can offer an excellent, affordable education for thousands of people. SIUE defines excellence in so many ways, but in particular, I think its biggest contribution is growing future leaders to make our community even better.
when I went to school there and to this day is that it provides an excellent affordable education for kids throughout the region. It's a first class education, you couldn't ask for anything better. The social life's there, it's a growing campus, and you can major in finance, which of course I'd be partial to, or healthcare, or any number of liberal arts majors. And it offers something for everyone. I went to school with with very little money in my pockets, and I was there because I had a baseball scholarship. That would not have been possible had it not been for the funding that the school had, either from state or from private funding. I know today is worse than it was 20 and 30 years ago. Funds have been cut. The budgets are now dependent on private funding more than state funding. And a public school like SIUE can only get better and continue improving uh, if it can get funding by people like you and I and, and hopefully many hundreds of people. And you know, one of the little known, known facts that I think most people in our community are not aware of is the great reputation now that SIUE has throughout the country. You know, the recent U.S. News & World Report that ranked us as one of the greatest up-and-coming universities in this country, I think that's terrific. And I think we need to get that word out to more St. Louis and so they can feel pr as proud as I am of the degree that I earned there. The combination of great faculty with a great student body is what really makes a good, a good, a good school. And I think anytime that uh, SIUE is, is recognized, it provides for opportunities for both students and faculty to get better. I love our campaign slogan, Defining Excellence. What a great choice of words to describe such a worthy cause. It's going to help so many students in this region get the same quality education at SIUE that I received years ago. If I were to, to summarize it, I, I would ask people to be involved because you are going to provide for an excellent, affordable education. I'm Pat Mercurio. I'm the market president for Bank of America in St. Louis, and I encourage you to get involved in the campaign. I am Fernando Aguirre, Chairman and CEO of Chiquita Brands International. How will you define excellence? <laughs> our journey to national recognition has also focused on our physical facilities. Since 2004, we have constructed the School of Pharmacy, Evergreen Hall, the Student Success Center, the Student Fitness Center Edition, the School of Dental Medicine Clinic Extension, the Secondary Computer Center, and the Early Childhood Center Edition. Further, we have renovated Peck Hall, Lovejoy Library, Cordy Stadium, <clears throat> the University Bookstore, the Baseball Clubhouse and Locker Facility, and the Environmental Resource Training Center. And buildings now under construction include the Science Building, the Art and Design Building, the Engineering Edition, Lucas Athletics Annex, to the Vidal Bean Center, the indoor, indoor Softball Practice Facility, and the Dental Simulation Laboratory. We have also designated a 380-acre na nature preserve on our campus and significantly developed the 30-acre gardens at SIUE, in addition to making numerous infrastructure improvements in roads and in buildings in which we work, and further beautifying our magnificent campus. These improvements total more than $250 million. As we have grown, the economic impact of SIUE on the region has increased. We published our first economic impact statement and instituted our first SIUE Day to enhance community support in 2005. Our economic impact on the region increased from $356 million per year in 2005 to $471 million per year in 2010. And for every state dollar spent, we generate $7 of economic impact in the local economy. Defining excellence, which was just mentioned, the campaign for our SIUE, our first capital campaign, was initiated in 2007 to support the realization of our vision. Our growth has been challenged as state funding has declined from 46% of our operating budget in fiscal year 1999 
to just 26% of operations in fiscal year 2011. To compensate for the state funding shortfall, the university tuition increased from 17% of our total cost to 30%, substantially raising the financial burden on our students and their families. Private gifts solicited by the Defining Excellence campaign increased funding for scholarships, endowed professorships, and other programs to help attract the best students and faculty. We officially kicked off the public phase of the campaign to raise $50 million last spring, and to date we have received $29 million. Let's watch some more about this campaign where members of the SIUE family are saying yes to our Defining Excellence initiative. SIUE is different. It's a part of our community. They develop very good relationships with their students. It provides opportunity. SIUE offers the kind of education most people only get at private colleges. Say yes. Say yes. To helping students just like me fulfill their dreams. Uh, my name is Adrian Matika. I teach in the uh, Department of English, Languages, and Literature, and I'm the uh, recipient of the 2010-11 uh, Margaret and William Going Award. Your donations will allow us to continue helping the students to expand their horizons both here and in the global economy. There's nothing better than getting that quality education. Donor contributions are extremely important. It helps the university evolve. We would otherwise have to cut some of the, the services we offer the students. Say yes. Say yes. To maintain a level of excellence that's not usually seen in college is uh, at the state level. My name is Ann Tosaski, and I am the Vice President of Public Relations for Home Nursery Incorporated. The diverse group of students that come through the university, they're not only from locally in the community, they're from the Midwest, they're from different parts of the country, and they're from 50 countries around the world. When a student receives an education, it makes our community a better place. These students are e eating in our restaurants, shopping in our stores, they're working for our businesses in the community. Say yes. Say yes. To help students grow, to expand, and really achieve excellence here at SIUE. My name is Candy LaDuke. I am a staff nurse in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center in St. Louis, Missouri. I received a scholarship during my senior year of nursing school from SIUE, and the scholarship really allowed me to take um, some of the stress off of having to worry about how I was going to pay for it. To do an internship that I wouldn't be able to if I was working 30, 40 hours a week to pay for school. It allows people who sometimes are the first in their families to go to college to attend a, a nationally ranked university. I'm so proud to be able to give back. Say yes. Say yes. And really help our generation be the leaders of tomorrow. My name is Brandon Ron. I'm a senior here at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. I wouldn't be here without a scholarship, without a donor. I have been able to help my fellow peers open their eyes and gain opportunities and better our campus for the future. They believe in excellence and they are committed to giving these students the best education that they can give. I've met numerous alumni who 50 years later are saying, wow, SIUE changed my life. My name is Laverne Wilson. I graduated from SIUE in 1967. Funds are needed from contributors. It's very important that this university remains at the top of its game, that it keeps providing the kinds of services that students need and that the community needs. Your gifts to SIUE uh, have an impact both on the students now but also for generations to come. I feel very honored that I can be the third generation who's going to be able to give back to the university. Say yes to better health care. Say yes to making dreams come true. Say yes to improving our region. Say yes to forming young minds. Say yes. Say yes to defining excellence. The campaign for SIUE.
Our journey to national recognition for the excellence of our programs and development of professional and community leaders has borne significant results. GI Jobs Magazine rates us among the top 20% of universities nationally for our military-friendly programs. And the Corporation for National and Community Service named SIUE to the 2011 President's Higher Education Community Service Honor Roll with distinction, largely for student services performed in conjunction with our Kimmel Leadership Center. Last year, the Washington Monthly Magazine included Master's Universities in its national rankings for the first time. And both last year and again this year, SIUE landed in the top 50 out of 553 private and public master's universities nationally. That's in the top 10%. What's remarkable about the rankings is that if one considers just universities in Illinois, SIUE is ranked number one out of all 20 public and private master's universities. The Washington Monthly Analysis is the only one I know of that compares all public and private master's universities nationally in the same evaluation. The Washington Monthly rankings are substantially different from those of US News and World Report. Here is what Washington Monthly says about its rankings. Quote, our rankings have posed a different question. What are the colleges doing for the country? Higher education, after all, isn't just important for undergraduates. We all benefit when colleges produce groundbreaking research that drives economic growth, when they offer students from low-income families the path to a better life, and when they shape the character of future leaders. And we all pay for it through hundreds of billions of dollars in public subsidies. Everyone has a stake in how that money is spent. That's why one-third of each college's score in our rankings are based on social mobility. How committed are they to enrolling, enrolling low-income students and helping them earn degrees? Our second category looks at research publications and success at sending undergraduates on to PhD degrees. Finally, we give great weight to service. It's not enough to help students look out for themselves. The best colleges will encourage students to give something back end quote. And I should add that SIUE is ranked number one on that survey in the nation in work-study funds spent on student service. With regard to U.S. News and World Report rankings best colleges of 2012, for the eighth consecutive year, SIUE is listed among the top 15 master's comprehensive public institutions in the Midwest region. And for the third consecutive year, we are listed among only 46 up-and-coming institutions in the entire nation for innovative changes in academics, faculty, student life, campus, and facilities. Among those 46 institutions nationally cited, we are tied for fifth in the Midwest. How is it that SIUE does well in the Washington Monthly Rankings that emphasize service and contributions to the success of students, and the US News and World Report's rankings that are based more on resources and reputation. I believe it is in our unique sense of community as an institution that has enabled this recognition as we continue to work together to do the right things well. Consider, for example, the current initiative termed the SIUE experience, born out of a collaborative effort between student affairs and academic affairs. The goal is to promote a common experience for all SIUE freshmen. The experience seeks to expand our sense of community and connectedness for residential and commuter students and cultivate student values using classroom and experiential learning activities, providing opportunities for guidance, student reflection, and developing a common language for faculty, staff, and students to understand and subscribe to our values, supporting the We Are One campaign. Along with the rest of the university, students must promote and foster a climate of openness, valuing and respecting all members of our community, regardless of their backgrounds. 
The main avenue for achieving this SIUE experience will be the restructured freshman seminar courses designed to meet the expectations of the Lincoln Plan. To enable this, a core group of faculty and staff committed to the goals of the new freshman seminar courses are currently engaged in conceptualizing course materials and activities that will enhance the freshman experience. It is anticipated that this initiative will also contribute to our efforts to improve retention and graduation rates. There are more steps forward in our journey toward national recognition by 2015. We will increase our commitment to international studies to promote faculty and student exchanges. We will also soon make decisions about new residence facilities. We had a wait list of 277 students whom we could not accommodate in residence halls this fall. And we need to consider fraternity and sorority housing, a desirable part of campus life for more and more of our students. We must also continue to develop our honors program to make it more competitive with other premier metropolitan universities, as well as increase the number of online courses and programs consistent with providing differing learning environments suitable to the needs of our students. Focusing on student retention, we need to develop new baccalaureate degree programs in the health and human sciences and in integrative studies for those who do not have a path to graduation should they not pursue one of our professional degree programs. We will also construct a nursing building to accommodate growth in the nursing program. Wonder who that is. Additionally, we must prepare for the coming emphasis on performance-based funding by continuing our planning and commitment to continuous improvement through retention initiatives that foster student success. Despite the economic pitfalls that the United States economy and the Illinois economy have experienced in the past several years, SIUE has been able to grow and flourish. And I believe our journey for national recognition will continue unabated. For the United States to be competitive, emphasis is being placed on producing more associate degrees, more baccalaureate, and more advanced degrees nationwide, reflecting a desire for a better educated country. In the knowledge economy, thinking is working. The intellectual environment of universities both reflects and affects society and thus contributes to American democracy. That is why residential campuses, including those that also serve commuting students, such as SIUE, will continue to exist. And it is why the public, through state and federal support, must maintain a great public university system in America. SIUE will continue to be part of that system and a beacon for the region we serve, gaining national recognition for the excellence of our programs and the profession and development of professional and community leaders we produce. All of you assembled here today and those who are not able to be with us have contributed to this journey that I have benchmarked today. I will ask you all now to please stand. In this speech, I have not named any one individual for specific recognition. Today, I want to recognize everyone. Thank you for all we have done together on this journey. Thank you. Please be seated. Over the course of my career, I have worked closely with many colleagues who reached the point where they faced decisions about the next phase in their own journey through life. I've often said on those occasions, life has its transitions. Now as I contemplate my 65th birthday and consider the paths I've taken in higher education since I began in 1974, I realize just how fortunate I have been. <clears throat> to have worked in a profession dedicated to the fulfillment of human potential, 
to be part of adding value to people's lives and to have helped educate some of the most recent generations of citizens of our great democracy has been a tremendous privilege and honor for me in particular. To have been part of this great university, to not only have been afforded the benefit of appreciating all of its component parts, but to actually have been given the responsibility to effect change toward the realization of its vision for national recognition is something I would never have imagined possible earlier in my life. <clears throat> All of this and much more has been granted to me by you. I sincerely thank each and every one of you for the support you've afforded me in our journey together. For the times I let you down, I apologize. Where we were able to work together to advance SIUE, well, I appreciate all you did. And thanks, too, for doing all this while living the five values of SIUE and believing in a sense of community that is the hallmark of our university. I wish also to thank Sue for always believing in me and for supporting SIUE as our first lady, Sue. So I've reached the point in life where there are transitions for me as well. <clears throat> I will now follow my six chancellor predecessors to become one of SIUE's biggest supporters. Having been here for the celebration of the 50th anniversary and on our way to the 100th, I know the successes of SIUE have only begun. And I know there's a leader out there who, as I have been, will be most fortunate to be your chancellor a leader who will work with you to enable SIUE to rise to its next level of excellence. You've often heard me say since my arrival, if Sue and I are lucky, we will retire from SIUE. Well, that good fortune will begin July 1st, 2012, but we will always be with you and we will always be Cougars. Thank you. Go Big E, go Cougars!